Good morning, new world. What is the new world? Well, that's an interesting thing. What is the new world? The new world is uh, constantly changing. It's uh, renewed every single day. But the more I see, the older I get, and the more I am absolutely totally convinced that at some point, I do believe the creator is going to say, this is enough. We've fucked up enough. Now, I don't know how it's going to change. I don't believe the world will be destroyed, but I do believe that we will have certain protections removed that we've uh, enjoyed up until now. I think we'll see a lot more natural catastrophes, more com comets, perhaps uh, earthquakes, uh, volcanoes. Because in the ultimate plan of creation, no species can take the place of the creator. And we seem to be trying to do that. As time goes by, <clears throat> we become more and more convinced that we can find political solutions, economic solutions, or we can save the earth by doing this or doing that. When I do believe the best way to, to save the earth is to repent. <laughs> I know this sounds very, very much like a, a old time minister preaching, but everything that we see is an indication to anybody that believes, obviously, and, and anybody that is intelligent enough to know what's going on or at least sense what's going on, that the world is in bad shape. Now, a world doesn't become uh, in a situation of bad shape uh, because the animals are behaving differently or because the insects or the flowers or the trees are rebelling. No, the world becomes a place that threatens a human habitation when the humans themselves, that's me, that's you, that's anybody listening to this, have decided that we are God and we will change our world the way we want it. You know, the funny part of it is the creator of the universe gives us exactly that right. He said, you may continue forward on your self-destructive path and the destruction will be on your heads. We see what's going on politically. Well, politicians are actually basically the slaves of the public. They feed the public what the public wants to hear. Well, this may or may not be democracy, but in my opinion, this is actually allowing the world to be led by false prophets. Because none of these politicians have any moral high ground. Whether they be ours uh, in Israel or in America, United States, worldwide, the United Nations, all of these man-made checks and balances that we have created in the end fall short. And when they fall short, People die, people starve, people become depressed, people suicide, people lose faith in everything. It's funny, people lose faith in their government, and at the same time, they lose faith in the creator. Is this because the creator refuses to change their government for them? It's kind of stupid, don't you think? I mean, the creator allows people to create their own governments and he expects us or it expects at least that we will have checks and balances on our own government but we don't not really no we the people we the people are ultimately responsible for the actions of our elected representatives or those who have taken power nobody can be elected nobody can take power without the will of the people or at least our ability to deceive ourselves 
for years and years and years thinking that things are working properly as long as the paycheck comes in, as long as we have a, a nice house, as long as we can afford to live in this new society, this very new world. So with that, I'm going to finish. Let me say one thing. Good morning, new world, new world order. I hope that uh, the next time I broadcast, things will be better for all of us.